it was uh, discovered <laughs> in 1971 when they found one of the best kept secrets in North America. My name is Dr. Mike Lang. As both a health researcher and adventure guide, I've seen how spending time outdoors can enhance the well-being of family caregivers. Cynthia is a member of the Stony Nakoda Nation and has chosen to become an advocate for missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls after experiencing that same injustice in her own family. Together with Cheryl Chagnon Grey Eyes, an elder of Cree and Métis descent, we will spend time out on the land engaging in ceremonies and talking about the challenges of being a caregiver for families facing the devastating loss of a loved one. This is Caregivers in the Wild. Feel that calmness? Mm-hmm. I feel it. You hear the wind and the leaves? Yes. And the birds? Yes. And you don't hear any traffic noise? Mm-hmm. Yeah. When was the, the last time you were able to do something like this? It's been a long time. It's been since 2017. It's been goal after goal, day after day. Hi, Cheryl. <laughs> okay. Dance. <laughs> okay. Love with that. <laughs> oh, hello, my girl. How are you? When you give tobacco, mm -hmm. it is from your heart to my mm. heart to Creator. Great. Well, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. So we thought we'd go for a walk, um, and then you're going to take us medicine picking. You and Cynthia have never been able to do this together. No, nope. no. Nope. We tried. <laughs> Making it happen. That's awesome. Thank cool. you. Cool. Well, yeah. Let's get let's get situated, and then we'll go you do bet. it. Awesome. Go for a walk. Oh, this is so cozy. I love this. I love sleeping in a teepee. I know, it's like coming home for me. I've been a caregiver all of my life. I have six children and 19 grandchildren. To me, there's no beginning and there's no end because it's just what I was brought into. With Emma, my W, it was my choice. Like, you know, because nobody was caring for these families at all. If uh, somebody's missing, the family members will get a hold of me and um, ask me if they, I can keep an eye out on, you know, helping them look for their loved ones. I'm talking about their stories to other people and going to marches and hearing their names being said. So that's how I care give. Mm -hmm. I make them realize that they're important. And I never got that when that happened to me. I care so much. It's what I go to bed with when I sleep. We need to start healing within in order to help heal everybody around us. Well, I was singing that last first. I was looking up and I was thinking about our sisters in spirit. There was this like flash of red dresses in the trees. And I know that we're here. And we're surrounded by spirit. Is this a really emotional activity? Like when you're here, it just comes out? Every um, ceremony I go to, I cry. I have to let it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And leave it there. Yeah. Um, I mean, you've done this with lots of women. What do you see? Uh, occur for them as they're out here. We always come, okay, we're going to get sage and we're going to smudge with it, and that's the purpose. However, once you get here, because you're on the land, and it's connected to a lot of spirit, it's about healing. The plan for tomorrow is we will try and find the Iniskamumapi. Yeah. Iniskamumapi. You yes. got it. Yeah, so we'll, we'll do our best to find it. Way 
So uh, Cheryl, tell us a little bit more about the medicine wheel. So far it's gone back to 5,200 years old. Yeah, wow. So it's older than Stonehenge in Britain. It's older than the pyramids. <laughs> Thank you, Creator, for blessings received. Thank you, Mother Earth, for the gifts of your bounty. Since I was a little girl, I've always wanted to come here. I'm here. I just, I loved watching you walk around the rocks. I could sense the weight yeah. um, being gone, right, being lifted. I can't believe me. I needed this. Yeah, come on over. I was thinking back to sort of my experiences in life in the circle. To me, it's a picture of community. Yes, right? because a circle has no beginning and no end. Yeah. And it shows that we're all in interconnected. Mm-hmm. You guys ready? Yeah. <laughs> when you lean back together, you can all support each other. Yes. That's right. And very much uh, a good metaphor for this weekend. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I think, you know, many caregivers carry around emotional wounds as a result of their work. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I think engaging in ceremonies and rituals that are meaningful to them yeah. could be a place to start healing. You have to do that. That healing process needs to start now so that we can carry on for that next generation. Yaki, oh, oh, yaki.